what's up y'all this is Sheila from what's up y'all here in the mountains of Virginia and today I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be doing um mister just left to go to um, the the big city and he's gonna pick us up some creamer because I ran out of creamer and uh, I just want to let you know I looked in the refrigerator. Remember I told you about I like my creamer in the door when you open up like my creamer? Well, I opened up the door today. Guess what wasn't there? My creamer. So he's just decided he's going to move it again. I've got the stamina. I've got the willpower. And guess what? I moved what he put there, put it back someplace else. And I put what little bit of creamer I had right there in that door. I did. I'm telling you. This is a war. This is a war. You know what I was thinking about doing? Now since he's gone, I can say this with him not being here and hearing me. Since he likes to do that, I thought about getting his toothbrush and moving it. Yep. And let him look around for, go, why well, my toothbrush over here? I ain't gonna say a word. He'll put it back and I'll go get it and go put it back someplace else. Oh, that sounds stupid. And I might go, Sheila, now don't do that to me. Well, he needs to leave my creamer alone. I told him I swear I want my creamer. And and, and, and he's not the, the hall monitor for, uh, or the, the refrigerator monitor. I want my creamer there. Are y'all having trouble like that? It's like you put some, it's like leave it alone. It's only one little thing. Leave it alone. Okay. I got that out. I just had to say that because he just left it. I things been gnawing at me all morning. It's like I just got finished talking about it and then he goes moving it again. I guess maybe he just wants me to tell you that he moved it again. Watch out for the toothbrush. It's just God, I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway, uh, this morning it is cold. Now look, listen to this. I woke up this morning and it was 30 degrees, 31, something like that. I looked out the window, I opened the blinds, and I looked out, and I saw blue sky, but I saw some clouds here and there, and I'm thinking, oh boy, this is going to be a, a wonderful day. But then I, I got up, and I let Sammy out to do his business, and when I did, there was snow on the deck. It wasn't out on the grass, it wasn't on the trees, but it was on the deck. And then I looked in the back, and then it was up on top uh, accumulation, just maybe, a, I don't know, not much, I don't even, an eighth of an inch or something, I don't know, maybe a little bit more, uh, on our um, metal, I can't talk, metal roof. And I'm going, this is crazy. This is just crazy weather. And then yesterday we went to Lowe's and got some dwarf spruce, Dwarf starts with an A. Blah, 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 blah. Spruce. Anyway, we got that because um, you know I'm fixing the front, so um, I'm gonna put two out there. We got five in all. Put two out there. Then I want to put two at the back deck. I think they only grow about four or five foot tall, uh, the max, which that's what I want, and because it's around the deck. And when we sit on the deck, I want to be able to see out. You know, I don't want the tree so big that blocks our view. So, you know, and I was thinking, yesterday I go, okay, because it was getting kind of late in the afternoon. And I said, okay, tomorrow we get up, you know, we get out there, we get those planted, and yada, yada, yada. And then I woke up this morning with this. And uh, I thought, okay, well, I'm seeing the blue skies and the clouds, that's it. Well, then I'm trying to um, get my shower and get everything done this morning. If I got that bacon soda on there. You know how that bacon, I have to make sure that I wash my face, which I just got out of the shower. But then when you brush your teeth, you better make sure you wash around here because that bacon soda, and it looks like mad dog. But anyway, I um, looked back outside, and lo and behold, it was falling from the sky, the snow, and I was going, go away, go away. So right now, it's kind of like partly cloudy, sunny. The, um, the snow, what little bit there was, it did melt. So I told Mr. I said, well, you know what I'm gonna do today? Um, we went down to another, it, it's not the big city, it's the little city. So I go like that. Um, 
that's not far from us here as well. And um, I talked to the owner that went out. I think she's part owner. But uh, she's going to allow me, when I showed her some of the things that I, because y'all haven't seen it all, I showed her some of the things that uh, I have done in the past. And like I said, I haven't done much since being here because we've been so busy with painting and putting up the shiplap. Um, gosh, I don't know what all, the bathroom, I mean, just project after project that I haven't really got to my crafting that much that I want to share with you. But I had some pictures of it and I had some of the old windows, pane windows that I've picked up here or there. In fact, the other day, um, there was this guy that said that he had a bunch of, he said, I'll just give them to you. Of course, he had five and I took them. I said, well, what a blessing, what a blessing. And then he got, gave me some of those red hot pokers that we're going to be planting. They say that uh, those grow pretty fast and you're going to have to separate them, but that's okay. Uh, we like it, you know, in the summer. I think they're really pretty, just brings a lot of color. But what was I saying? Oh, so today I'm going to I strip the sheets off my bed, which must have been yesterday. Y'all know how I am. I get them sheets clean. But I got mixed up on what day it was. When you retire, when Mr. retired, and that one day just runs into the other and I get up sometimes he used to make fun of me and I was gonna go what day is this he goes you don't know what day it is of course he was working and I go no what day is he goes I can't believe you don't know what day it is well now he's doing the same thing he goes hey baby what what's the day I went aha I told you to catch up with you well you wouldn't know what the day was well anyway Yesterday was Friday. It was my sheet changing day. I didn't get it done. Okay, now let me tell you what happened. You remember the other day I told you that I was so tired. Well, this was had been last Friday. Uh, we were so tired doing project after project that I didn't put the sheets about, well, it's time to go to bed. He goes, we didn't get those sheets on the bed. I went, ay, yeah, yeah. I, I am too tired. I mean, you know, you already fell asleep on um, your love seat and you're just kind of just stumbling around just to get to get to bed. I didn't feel like putting sheets on it so we slept on the mattress cover. Now I'm getting to a point. So he had hurt his arm and it had like a little scabby thing. And so the next morning when I was going to, uh, uh, to, to put the sheets on the bed, I got to look at that, that mattress cover. Thank God for mattress cover. There was something like a, what's that? What's he, what's he got? Because it's on his side. What's that on the bed? And I guess it had bled just a little bit or something. So I got to wash off the cold water because it was just a little spot. Mm, scrubbing it, trying to get it clean. Well, today, it's like, no. I stripped that cover off and then I got Lysol. I don't know if y'all do this, but a lot of times I vacuum uh, the mattress because I don't want them dead skin cells getting all over them. And, and even though we had a mattress cover, I still got the vacuum, vacuumed the mattress. Then I got the Lysol spray. Not that we stink, but it's just a, it's just a thing here. It's just a thing. And uh, so I sprayed the sheets real good. My mattress cover and the sheets are in the wash machine now. But I can't put on other sheets till I get the mattress because I only got one mattress cover. For that bed so I've got to wait for that to finish washing I'm gonna throw that in the dryer once that's all done I'll get my my bed made which I'm a day late should have been yesterday but uh, mister got up to help me this morning because I said mister I want to work on those windows and uh, I mean they got to be cleaned up they've got the chippy look some people paint the windows because they want it all prim and proper I like the rustic look so I'm gonna leave I'll get off a lot of it but I'm gonna keep a lot of the the chip paint I'm gonna keep keep that on there and uh, I've been painting pictures uh, about two three years ago um, flowers and stuff on the windows I think I already shared with you showed you one um, when, when we moved here the other ones that I had done mister left them outside and um, anyway with the weather and everything half the, the 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 pain has gone off them so i've got to scrape those and start all over again but there's some new things i'm going to do today so anyway he got up and he helped me actually he cleaned both bathrooms of course i gotta go back and check on it um he cleaned both bathrooms he did the kitchen and uh, in fact you probably hear the dishwasher running in the background and he mopped the floor yeah 
so I can get to my windows because the other part of this is I don't want to have time because it's cold outside and I can't even go down to my uh, my craft place yet because that's not organized. We've got the other shed organized but not my craft shed. So um, when that warms up I'll be down there a lot and you guys will be with me. And there is more than just cleaning in this mobile home. I have some things that I do want to do and I want to share with you. There's just some more attributes with Sheila here and Mister. but he's going to bring in the windows and we're going to clean them really well and then um i'll start videoing you know not the whole thing because it takes a while to paint but i'm not sure if i'm going to paint or i'm going to do transfers transfer easy peasy you know if i have enough transfers um if i don't then i'll have to order some more and then i'll just start painting because the lady at this cafe down in that city um she said uh, she doesn't charge anything. I showed her some of the work that I did because I noticed there was some pictures, you know, on the wall. And there's this one other lady, and I said, well, I'd like to show you some of the things. And she just went, she just loved it. And I said, uh, well, how much do you charge? She goes, she won't charge you anything. She said, you just bring it down here and make your list. So I'm excited about that. And then I have another lady that has a farm, um, that we did a video on it's called the three creek farm and the summer she's going to be having uh, vendors to come into the barn so i have got to get busy i have so many ideas so many things to do and i want to share them with you and i can't wait for that so things are opening up praise the lord things are opening up and i could kind of get before i get too too old and i really can't see i want the creativity in me uh, while I still have it um, to do some things so and uh, but today I want to utilize I do have since he's done all that like I said my mattress covers not dried or anything so um, I hope I remember and don't do like last time and forget to put the, put the sheets on the bed I don't want to rough it again did y'all see my hair when I roughed it anyway so um, I've got, you know, I, I like to do my vacuuming since Mr. helped me out. Uh, now he's gone to um, the grocery store to get some more creamer and stuff. He had to make a little list, bless his heart. I'm going to get this done because I cannot sit and be painting or whatever the craft that I'm doing um, and then looking around and see all the stuff that's out of order. This living room is a mess again. I don't know how we do it. Well, I do. Well, I'm looking over there because that's my little corner of the room. And that's where I see the mess. And I'm OCD. Well, I've been busy outside. Y'all seen what I've been doing. So I've been out there. By the time I come in, my planner specializes. You know what? Do y'all have friends? You know when you get older? But let's just start. I got a story. I got a story. I'll tell you this, and I'm going to get to the vacuuming. And I put uh, my back, vacuum cleaner was stinking, too. And so I put some dryer, emptied it, put some dryer sheets in there. Because I don't know what that smell was. I don't know what, what was sucked up in there. It was just not smelling good. But anyway, I put dryers and sheets in there. So you know me. I got a vacuum. I can't stand. I got a sweep. I got a vacuum in here. Uh, I'm going to do that. I haven't gotten to the office yet. Um, I think when I get those done... And y'all can come along with me uh, and get prepared to do uh, the crafts. But what was I saying? Oh, oh. I I'll say this. And then I'll get to the other. I promise, I promise. Because y'all like stories. This is not so much as a story. It's just a fact. This is what we do. And we don't realize we do it. You know when you're younger and you're around your friends. And I'm saying like 20, 30, even 40. Maybe even 50. You know. You're around your friends when y'all get on the phone y'all talking about this and that and just having a good time and laughing and joking around and my friends are are like me and uh we like to have a good time so we're laughing and cutting up and stuff then uh one of my other friends what well, she's just as crazy as i am too um they came up her and her husband came up to visit well we've said this before they came up to visit but i think we really kind of pointed it out again Okay, I'm getting to it. She'll just get to it. So, when you're younger, you talk about anything and everything, your kids, and uh, maybe you, you've got a job, what happened on your job, what you're doing. Uh, you know, just things, everyday life, you know. 
Well, then when you get older, like me, and uh, even though I, this might be old inside still, I feel very young. But well, I notice we're sitting around and we're talking. And I go, you know, because I'm telling y'all all the time, I go, my foot is killing me. Not literally. I should quit saying that. My foot's hurting. I told y'all about that plantar fasciitis. Here we go down the old person road. You know what I'm talking about. When we get to sit and talk, I go, girl, I got to get to the doctor. Like, yeah, I have to. Well, I just went to the doctor. Well, what'd he say? He's, well, I had this, I had that. And he prescribed me these, um, these, uh, this medicine. And they named the medicine. It's about this long. And, which I can't pronounce those names. But anyway, um, and he prescribed this and this. So I took, I have to take this. Girl, I'm on five different medicines. I go, I know, I know. I went to the doctor, and then we talk about how we just need to push a little, you know, when you, uh, well, y'all probably don't remember that either, but when I was younger, they used to have, what were they called, candy stripers or something? It was of uh, the volunteers that was in the hospital back in where I was from, um, and how they push these little carts. They push little carts, and, you know, they go, they ask you, newspaper, magazines, blah, 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 it's candy, da, 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 you know, and you're going, I want, come on, I want a newspaper, or hey, I want it, well, they don't do that anymore, but anyway, we were talking about it, because we're in the same age bracket, and I go, I feel like, you know, we need to push around this little medicine cart, push around, and go, have you taken your pills today, mister, did you take your blood pressure, now, you know, da, 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 well, now, it's about noon time, it's time for that other pill, isn't that sad, that's just sad, and I told Mr. I said, I don't want to be on any more pills. Because you take some pills, and then this pill, you know, you've got some kind of reaction to that on some other part of your body. And then you got to take that. You take something for your foot. Well, that's affecting your ear. Then you got to go take another medicine to, to, to take care of the ear problem in here. Well, that's got a reaction. And, 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 and now you got, you got some kidney problems. And then, well, now you got to take something for a kidney thing. Well, then now that's, I mean, it just, it just keeps going. And uh, Mr. is about to come off all of his pills. That's why I think, like with that creamer, I think that's what's messing him up. Is because he's come off all this medicine. And he's just, uh, he's just not thinking right. That's all I got to say. He's just, it, it's, it's coming off the medicines. We'll blame it on that. But, you know, I used to be on a blood pressure pill. He said, I have hypertension. Imagine that. Me have hypertension, Miss OCD? Not. Well, I said, I don't want to be on that because this blood pressure medicine, see, here I go. Here's the old person story. You know, you surround, you hear these old people talking about, well, girl, I took that and I'll tell you what it made me do. And I had to go to the bathroom about three, four times a day, just got my stomach all messed up. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know some of y'all know go, yeah, me and my my friend, we get together and talk about all the medicines we're on. Or we just got back from the doctor. But um I don't I don't want to take that because the side effect to the blood pressure medicine that he had me on made me cough. So, you know, Mr. gets on my nerves because he's been I think it's a habit now. He was sick, but in fact he says he thinks it's a habit too. So like every few minutes it's <clears throat> I'm going, ah, what's the matter? He goes, well, I'm drowning in my snot. Well, then a few minutes later, I go, do you need a, a Kleenex? He goes, why? He says, I'm dry here. <coughs> I go, well, you said you was doing that because you're drowning in your snot. Now you're saying it's dry. Why do you keep doing that? Well, maybe it's a habit. And I, in saying all that, now I'm going, when I was on that blood pressure pill, I'm going, <coughs> it's a dry cough. It makes you, it's like you're, something's in your throat. And I'm thinking, what is wrong with me? <coughs> and I'd be somewhere, I'm trying to talk. <coughs> and I know the people going, do you need to go to the doctor? Well, one of the side effects I found out was it, some people, side effects is a dry cough. I don't know why I didn't look that up sooner. So, I'm getting back to the point. I went around the world to get to the right here. So I said, you know what? Mm -mm. I'm not going to take this anymore. Uh-uh. First off, I'm going to pray, and I'm going to believe in God for my healing. 
but also I take cayenne pepper capsules that opens up your your arteries and stuff you know it helps with the blood flow and yada yada so that's what I'm doing now but I'm on a lot of them pills I take like a cayenne pepper I take beet capsule I take uh, like fish oils threes like borge flaxseed and it's all in one pill flaxseed is good for you too so I take that I take a, a, a B complex I take a there's six of them I can't remember them all I gotta put them in this little pill dispenser thing so I can know if I've taken them today or not but anyway I'd rather be on natural stuff than that synthetic stuff and I think I've shared that with you anyway back to the story is that you know you sit around now and I go I don't want to be like that Lord I don't want to be like that that all I got to talk about is doggone what medicines we're on what aches and pains we're having and I seem like I'm coming across to y'all all the time by my doggone fit I'm sick of it I'm telling you I'm sick of it you know when your head hurts you feel like you want to just take it off and just put it over here that's kind of like my foot's like I just want to like just unsnap it or something put it over here for a while and I've been doing everything that they say and they say sometimes that's really hard to, to get rid of plantar fasciitis for it to go away to heal so today after I get this done then I'm gonna sit I bought some uh, some more paints yesterday and I think I don't know like I said I'll either do transfers with y'all today or uh, I will start painting today I won't be able to video because sometimes it takes to freehand to paint and paint the whole uh, picture like I'll probably do some flowers or something I showed you that other one that I did didn't I the one with the purple come on let me let me take you over here I want to show you and uh, now it might not be y'all's cup of tea it might not but uh, the lady told me she says Sheila is beautiful she says you bring it down here you know and people go down there and they buy things and so I thought why not why not share you know when I'm doing this because where am I gonna put it I this place is too little anyway but let me show you hold on hold on now see I got the chippy look up here I'm still gonna kind of clean it off a little bit but that's the uh, that's the the picture that I painted and I'm gonna put paint that white a little bit and you know, fill that in maybe with some caulking that kind of paint over it but that's it that's one of them I've done got the little dragonfly up there if you can see a little dragonfly right there I got a touch up I sprayed it with this uh, sealant and it kind of made it uh, mm, cloudy a little bit but that's okay that's okay anyway I'm gonna give uh, my hand at it again today to see if I can um, it's been like three or four years, so I'm probably going to be rusty. But I have a zillion things, ideas to do. And uh, so you and I are going to be doing this, and I'm going to be showing you some, some of the things that I do. And it's not for so much for uh, everybody to follow suit or you pull up this video to see how. I'm just sharing with you mountain life up here and what Mr. and I do. It's just our everyday living. Okay, guys. Um... This uh, picture right here, I can't find my little putty knife. I gotta walk way down two miles to go get it. So I'm using, hopefully it's work, my handy dandy spatula. But anyway, I started this years back because my <clears throat> cousin, I don't know if you can see that with a, through there. Uh, it's uh, like branches and what I was going to do um, was put little cardinal birds on there. But uh, I've decided to do something different I'm probably gonna do some daisies on here I really want to do some flowers can I get my flowers out of the way I want to do so I had to put this on cold this morning but anyway um, it's been sitting outside so with all the windows um, you got to clean them down really good so what I'm gonna do I don't know if this is work I might have to go get the, the spatula yeah okay guys I got my little utility knife whatever that's called but uh I don't want to walk down there but you know I told you about my foot so what I'm going to do is scrape off all of this paint as you can see all the old paint as I said um, this was going to be a picture of you know some <clears throat> of a tree tree limbs and branches I just started it so yeah it's looking pretty bare like I said I didn't finish this because 
Uh, and I might do it again later. I don't know. It just depends. But uh, I'm going to get all this off. And then I've got my Windex and stuff. And the next thing you want to do is clean the windows really well. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we'll come back with my next step um, after I get the paint off. Now, I don't know if y'all got some old windows laying around or something you're trying to figure out, you know, maybe what you want to do. But, um, I want to do some daisies. Actually, daisies is one of my favorite flowers. They're just, it's, I guess it's a simplicity in them. I don't know. And, uh, I, that's what I want to put on here. So, <clears throat> so let me get finished with this because this looks like it's going to take a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done, then I'll come back on the next step. Okay, I don't know if you can see or not, but I do have uh, most of the stems off. And um, when I mean uh, on the frames, there's still a lot there. I've just taken an old uh, brush I used in the sink. Um, and you go, Sheila, are you going to paint that? No, I'm not. Um, a lot of people like the chippy look, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to try to um, take my brush and knock off all the, um, the pieces here um, that are kind of loose. And, of course, I'm going to clean it, but what I want to do right now is just, and I'm hoping when I put the spray on here that's also going to loosen up the paint that I can get that off. So, you know, if you're painting a picture and you're making a boo-boo, it's, when it's kind of on, still on the wet side, it's easy to get off. So, I might go around with some caulk on some of these pictures. Like I said, this is an old window. And, and I like it. I like the old rustic-y looking. You can see as I'm doing this, uh, some of the, um, the loose stuff is coming off. And that's what I want. That's still okay. Um, then there's another little piece on the other side, excuse me, on the other side of this. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go like this and knock off those really, really loose pieces. I mean, that's everywhere on this picture frame, not picture, window frame. So you can see what I'm doing here. Um, so I'm going to clean this off, and then I'm going to come back, and then uh, so let me empty this out. I'm going to come back, and then we're going to spray the window down to clean it. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, um, I went around and scraped the edges with this, and then my brush. Uh, you can still see. I don't know if you can or not. But there's little pieces. I've got my trash can here. Uh, if you can see my floor, you can see I've got off a lot of chips but my next thing to do uh oh sorry i hit the tripod my next thing to do is i've still got some of the uh, residue of uh the pitcher the stems but i'm going to squirt this whole thing down because it still has dirt on it i mean i know it looks old and it's rustic and stuff and that's great but i don't want big clobs of dirt if you know what i mean so, uh, squirting this, hoping to loosen up. I'm going to let that sit there for a minute on the panes while I get the edges. I just get an old cloth, but uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see, the dirt that's coming off of there. Like I said, some people like theirs, um, their frames painted and, you know, being all pretty. I still think it's pretty. Uh, I just think it's a little bit more rustic. And... Uh, that's my goal is to keep it rustic as much as I can. As you can see, I'm trying to get just the the wood the wood part and get that cleaned off. Quite a quite a bit of dirt is coming off of it, and it also helps get off uh, some of the chips. Now I'm going to go in and see if I can get. I probably can't. I mean, it's not doesn't look like it's coming off. I'm probably have to get my 
my little utility knife again and scrape the rest of this off, which is no problem. I was just hoping that would loosen it up. Probably didn't have it on here long enough, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna get around the edges. And then when this, this is dry, then we're gonna start um, putting our flowers on here. I'm not really a good expert on how to do flowers. Actually, I've never had a lesson. And then as you can see, as I start, girl, that's not how you do it. Well, this is Sheila, and I do the best that I can. Let me do this again. Make sure, not only that, that I want to get the sides. I'm gonna get the other side too, but you know, when you're hanging a picture or this window, you wanna make sure the whole thing is clean, not just where you're gonna paint. So, Make sure there's no spider webs and all that kind of stuff on it. Okay, now I'm going to get these, the opposite side and um, squirt it down. Now it's kind of just bare wood. Um, I would probably paint here, but I like the chippy look, so I'm going to stick with the other side, the chippy white paint look. I just right now. Now this wood will dry, just kind of basically get all the dirt off of it. Where it's been sitting around, clean the frames. And I can still, through this way, I can see where all that, uh, the, um, can't get my words out this morning for the stems. I don't hope it's going to turn out okay. I think it will. Like I said, I'm no expert. I've never taken any painting lessons or anything. As you will see, Gajila. Oh my land. I keep hitting that tripod. I'm so sorry. So maybe I've loosened it up some. So I'm going to go back in here now. And uh, is this called Exacto Knife? And. Now getting all the dirt and everything off. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we'll be back and try to put some leaves on. So go get you a cup of tea and we'll be back in a minute. All right guys, uh, I finished up getting the um, all the old paint off as best as I could. I'm gonna wipe it down again with a clean um, paper towel and uh, some, this Windex. I really, it says it's streak-free glass cleaner. I don't know if y'all can see that. This stuff stinks. I don't like it. I'm thinking, boy, I hope my window's not smelling like that. It's just got an odor to it. Maybe that's to help clean your windows. I don't know, but I don't like the smell. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do next, since I, I've done this, uh, cleaned it up. I could have started with a fresh um, window panes. I do have others that don't have anything on them, but you know what? Eventually, uh, I'm going to um, use those anyway. And so I thought, well, this gives you an opportunity. Even though I have something on it, you can repurpose it. You can um, scrape that old stuff off. Now, what I will do next is that um, I need to seal this up, all the wood, because you can see it's chippy, and I want to leave it like that. I don't want any more to chip off of it, <clears throat> so I need to seal it. I'm not going to put it on the um, the panes because uh, it'll make a film on it, and plus I've got to um, you know, paint my flowers. Uh, again, I said I'm going to start out this go around uh, with daisies. So I um, won't show you as I do the complete picture, but I'm going to start out with a leaf, and don't y'all criticize me out there because... I didn't take any lessons in this, and this is kind of freehand. This is uh, just Sheila. So I'm going to start out with uh, um, the greenery, and you want to do the greenery first because once you get the daisies on there, it's hard to come back and fill in all the little nooks and crannies between the daisies with the green. So what you want to do is start with your leaves first, and then let that dry, and once that dries, in fact, once you start over here, by the time you get to another pane, this is dry, and then you can start out with your daisies petals and put on there so that's what we're getting ready to do uh now 
um, I'm going to take this out and shake it out, this uh, white cloth. And I put the white cloth on it because I couldn't see. I couldn't see if I got all the, the uh, old paint off the window panes. So let me go ahead and shake this out, <laughs> go get my paints. And like I said, I'm just going to do the leaves, some of the leaves first, so you can just see. And this is not a tutorial. This is just showing you what I'm doing. And um, maybe it'll inspire you. I, I don't know. But... So let me go ahead and do that, then I'll be back with my green paint and start putting some of the leaves on here. And then I'll show you. We'll just see how it goes. See you in a minute. Okay, guys. Uh, I've gone back over my window again. So, like I said, I'm sitting on stools. So <laughs> Sorry. You hear some crash. It's me. But, um... I'm going to, I just got me one of these waxy um, paper plates. I have a, one of like those little artist kind of tray things. It's plastic. It's cheap. And it's got the little different holes or containers in it uh, that you can put different paint. I can't find it. Um, we're still not organized down on my side of the craft area. So I look for it. I'm going to start out with the, the leaf. I've got this dark uh, green. It's called, um, what's the name of this color? Camp, campground acrylic paint. And oh, it's getting dark now. The sun's kind of going in and out. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit here. Right there. See, that's all I need. See that little drop there? And then I've got something that's kind of like a, the color to me is kind of like a mini color and it is called spearmint actually and so do a little bit of that now remember this is just this is not to um try to show you guys how to do it i'm just showing you what i'm doing um for my my window so and i haven't had any classes in painting so uh, it might uh, turn out good it might not let's see but like i told you we want to start on the the greenery first because you can go it's hard to fill in the green in between the petals so the best thing to do is go ahead and um do your leaves first and i'm not an expert in doing these leaves in fact honestly i don't like doing leaves but anyway i'm taking my uh, my brush here it's a flat brush and what i'm going to do which i'm still not an expert at on one side i'm going to put the darker green and then the other side the lighter green and then i'm going to kind of swish it back and forth uh, on my plate and kind of get it blended in so here we go there's the green and you want to get a lot on your brush because i'm going to tell you what now this is where i start blending it right here see this okay then i'm going to go back dark green light green do it I do it two or three times so I can get it in my brush really good. Because I'm gonna tell you, putting it on glass is not easy. Okay, I've got to figure out. Okay, where am I? Where do I want my my daisies? I want them everywhere. So, yeah, you know, it's just your imagination. Maybe you want to put one big daisy up here. I don't know, but I'm gonna put several daisies. So I'm gonna start here because um, this is the center one. Uh, and you also want to make when you're putting this on your paint you want to make sure that the dark side the dark side sorry guys the dark side is on the outer part of your leaf so here we go so i put it down press it down and then i kind of do like a little jiggy movement see that back and forth and then i turn my brush i go poop now that probably looks like a caterpillar to you but like i said i'm no expert when it comes to leaves I don't really like doing leaves. Again, I'm going to put make sure that the dark part is on the outside. And here I go. Now, did that turn out right? No. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to wipe it off and start all over. That's the joy of paint. So, that's what I'm saying. This is not um, trying to teach you. I'm just showing you what I do. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it isn't. Let's try it again. Maybe it's because I'm up on the stool so high. I don't know. Whoop. Start on the wrong side. See what I mean? Let's do it again. And, and the only drawback on doing it on glass is because you can't... It smears. So we just do the best that we can. I'm going to leave that. 
And what I'll do, like I'll come back with this lighter green and I'm gonna just put like a little ridge. Well, I'm gonna wait till it dries because it's gonna smear again. But I'm just trying to give you an idea as to, um, you know, and I tell you, YouTube is great if you go on there and take some tutorials maybe or go to a class maybe near you. There's some wonderful, wonderful um, people out there that can do this perfectly. So you see, I'm just kind of jiggy, 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 but again. All right, that's okay. You can still see through it. It's kind of, let me see if I can zoom in closer. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway. Yeah, one of my, um, I'm going to start right there with one of my um, daisies. So, but you know what? You want to put as many, um, the greens as you can. So here we go again. I'm going to put one up here. You see, I'm kind of going back and forth. And now I'm going to twist my brush. There we go. Put some more paint on. And I'm dabbing on both sides. Oh, y'all can't see that. I'm sorry. Like I said, this is not a tutorial. This is just showing you Sheila here, what Sheila's going to be doing. So let me do it again. Uh, there we go. When I put it down, I try to make sure that the darker color is on the outside. Yeah, Sheila, that don't, that don't look so good. Maybe not. But this is Sheila's picture. And we'll see the end product. Maybe it'll turn out better, right? I hope so. Like I said, sometimes it's just trial and error. And yeah, while it's wet, shoot. And just wipe it off and do it again. Okay. That's what I'm going to be doing like this. I'm going to put be putting where I want daisies at. And then I'm going to be doing this in all the panes because I want my whole window pane here, window, uh, with daisies all over it. Now, I'll go back and then sometimes... I'll put in these little um, little wispies, you know. I know that doesn't look really good right now, but it will come together, like I said. And then you'll put your stems later, and it'll come together, I promise. Let's just do another one. Can y'all see? Let's do one right. I think y'all can see right here. Okay, I'm going to do this right here. Here we go. I just kind of wiggle it back and forth. See, I need way more um, paint on my brush. Normally, you would blend it in better, but because this is a window, and I'm not trying to press down too hard because it smears. Start on this side. Sometimes these little leaves turn out pretty. Sometimes they don't. But I just kind of want to show you what I'm doing. This is my DIY for Sheila. Look, look at there. Let's take that right off. I just wiped it with my finger. You turn the brush. That's okay. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kinda get off here now, and um, then I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the daisy when this dries, and then after that, I'm just gonna do one daisy, um, and then we'll show you the end product. And this is probably the one that I'll take down there to that place I was telling you about. Um, that, that the lady said that I could put some of my stuff there. And we'll see how it goes. See if people like it or not. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I want to do more with um, <clears throat> like blue flowers. Um, also took a picture. My husband, mister, pulled over to the side. And um, kind of clean my brush now. Uh, pulled over to the side of the road the other day because it was this big old... Uh, row of the yellow bells. I don't know what the proper name is. I've always called them yellow bells, so hopefully you know what I'm talking about, you country folks. You know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> anyway, I'm, I want to do that. I've never done that before. I know that's going to be tedious because there's like tons of those little petals. So we'll see how that goes. Um, trying to clean my brush out, guys. I'm dipping it in the water and trying to get it out for the next time. But, um, in fact, I'll be using this brush, I think, this one. And uh, as you can see, I don't want to waste the paint that's on here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my greenery on, uh, on the window here because I don't want to waste the paint that I've just poured in here. Then we'll come back 
and I'll show you how to do the pedals, how I do the pedals. Not saying it's the right way, but it's going to be how I do the pedals. And uh, again, this is Sheila's picture. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, uh, this is sort of uh, dry now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my paint. I got um, the white paint and it's acrylic. And I'm going to put a little dab of doo right here in my tray. Can y'all see that right there? That's not much, just a little, little dab. And I got my brush. Like I said, I've shown you how to do the leaves. I haven't finished out. I just kind of want to show you, you know, how I how I start and uh, you know each each step, and then when I'm finished, then <clears throat> I'll show you the whole picture. So, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat's clogging up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I get enough paint on my and kind of swish it back and forth because I want it in between all those bristles because you want a lot of paint there because what you do is you start out with a blob and then you pull it and then twist your brush as this is the way I do it so this is not professional just to let you know all right so what I'm going to do remember I've already got the leaves right we start the leaves because why remember I told you um you can, it's hard to get the the green in between the petals so I'm getting ready to start my petals now so what I'm going to do is now here's my leaf I'm going to go up here in the can y'all see that and kind of like in the middle not middle but in the leaf itself blob it see I've blobbed it and then I want to pull it and as I'm pulling it I'm going to turn my, my brush do you see that that looks like a little teardrop right there so now I'm going to do that all the way around blob it pull it and blob I know y'all can't see I don't know why I'm so shaky. My hand's shaky this morning. I don't know why. I'm going to go up in the leaf right here. Blob. Pull and turn my, my brush. And I know people do it different ways. And they've got, you know, their professionals. And they got the right brushes and all that kind of stuff. But, this is Sheila. So I put it. And I, yeah, I usually do a lot better. I don't know why my hand's shaking so much this morning. I just can't. And I ate something. So I'm not sure. But you can kind of get the gist by looking at that. Y'all see that? Okay. So I kind of make the, um, the main ones. Now what you do after that, you know, because a lot of times you see the petals, they're, they're like lots of little petals. So I'm going to start up here and hopefully that'll dry a little bit. Then I'll come back and I paint over the petals that are already there to make it look like the petals that I've put here already are like the backdrop of the daisy. So here we go on this one. You blob it and then pull it. And you know a lot of people what they do is they'll have a center point. So if you need to say okay you want your daisy you know x this big just say well you want to put a like a little dot to kind of give you a guideline right in the middle so when you start on the outside you know how where to stop when you bring in that that pedal. I'm not doing that. Um, maybe I should. I don't know. I just don't feel like doing it. And uh, I cannot. I can't even hold on to my brush. I don't know what's going on, with me guys. Y'all need to pray for me as I'm doing this. Cause I mean, my hand is shaking like big time. I'm not nervous. Um, I don't know what it is. As you see, I'm going on the greenery. And then pulling it in. See there? Because it's hard to fill in. I'm telling you. If y'all want to do it the other way, y'all go ahead. I'm just trying to help you out. Yeah, if you do decide. Okay, so now what I'm going to do. Uh, okay, sorry guys. My, um, my battery went dead. So I had to go recharge you guys. Alright, so this is what I'm doing. I don't know where I left off. But I'm going to go, you see in between these petals here, I'm going to go ahead and dab it. Like I said, this is not professional at all. And probably people use different uh, brushes and then pull it and turn my brush at the same time. Which usually, my flower is not so shaky. It's nice and smooth, but I'm telling you what, I feel like this is like a first grade painting. But anyway, 
I just kind of want to give you all, you know, what I do. Here's over, I'm going to come over here. I don't know, you can't see that, but okay, let me just finish up over here. Blob, twist it and pull it. And that's the main thing. Blob, twist it, and pull it to the center. See how, how that daisy's filling in? Blob. And you can make it as big as you want, as small as you want. Blob, pull. See there? It really isn't hard. It's just a matter of having a steady hand, which I don't have this morning. But I just kind of want to give you a gist of uh, what I'm doing. And, and maybe it'll turn out all right. I, I hope so. And I'm sure a lot of y'all are going, Sheila, that is not how you do it. Well, maybe not. It's okay. Like I said, this is, this is Sheila's wind. And this is just how I do it. Um, as you can see. Alright, so now I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to... Um, I've got to get a really sm a small, small brush. Which, because you can see... I don't know if you can see that. But in between this petal, remember I used the darker on the outside and the lighter on the inside. And made it kind of like that little um, stem part in the middle of your flower. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, some of these are showing up well, some aren't, but I might have to go back over them again because uh, on glass it's really, really hard. Um, there's some stuff, I forgot what you call it, like, I say it's like Grosso, G-R-O-S-S-O -S -S -O, or something that you can put in your paint. I think it helps to adhere it. I could be wrong, so don't hold me to it. Um, I think I have some. I might go see and see if I can kind of add it in with my paint a little bit and see if that helps. But anyway, this is uh, how I start. Um, and I'm going to cover uh, my picture, my window frame, with daisies. That's what I just felt like because daisies are one of my favorite flowers. Hey guys, uh, here it is. I still have to put a coating on it. So my flowers will not scratch off. Now, I would tell you what it is, but I can't think of it for this right the second. Like I said, this is not really a tutorial. But this is just to show you uh, what I did today. Um, anyway, it's my little daisy. And I love daisies. So anyway, so I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed. I, mean, I know you didn't get to see everything like every petal that I did. But anyway, just wanted to share with you. And so, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. There's some um, cans that I'm wanting to do next. And i got to wash up a little bit, too. i got paint all over me. I should have put on my apron, but I didn't do it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Remember, guys, that I love you. Hope you enjoyed my DIY today, one of my... Uh, window panes and I've got probably about seven to nine more I don't know exactly what I'm going to do but I'll share it with you when I do but anyway I hope you enjoyed your day I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for my new subscribers Mwah. thank you so much and I love the comments I really do and I wanted to let you know that I love you I really 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 do but guess who loves you more Jesus until the next video Mwah. bye guys